Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. So far in our journey, in the last two episodes, we have seen the we have seen and learned and understood the folder structure, some of the important files, and importantly the boot process of Angular applications. Now the import the next logical step of our learning should be package.json and package-log.json the reason being that when, when you're working on a real-time project hardly you will have where you'll have a basic sketch or skeleton with minimum packages right you will obviously need more packages uh, or modules or libraries and this episode will help you understand what happens when you do when you install packages when you install libraries and why it's important for your application. Let's get started. This is part nine of the full tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you along with including live projects. So make sure you check out the description box below. Uh, I will update the notes and the code. All right, so, so far we have covered eight episodes. So make sure you check them out because there is a continuity in learning. I'm sure which will benefit you. So today we are learning about package.json and package-lock.json file. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so these are two really important files without which your project will not work, right? Uh, you cannot deploy your project because this is the main file which tells about the schematics or the scripts that are used to run in your build pipeline, right? Any automation deployments that you will work in real time will have some scripts which go into your package.json. And you will also need some kind of dependencies and modules to work with your application. That's what is defined in package.json. A lot of people think that they really understand package.json, but I'm sure there are a lot of hidden gems which I'm going to encode and show it to you. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Let's get started. All right, so I'll continue making notes here for you, which is what I told you I'll cover it in the next episode. So this is the package episode number nine, right? Where we are learning about package.json and package lock.json. All right, so the first thing, so you will find your package.json and package lock in your folder structure, right? So wherever you have your folder, you will see these two files, right? These are two extremely important files, package.json and package hyphen lock not json right now let's go one by one and understand them right open package dot json so the first would be the most basic ones which is your name and version name right this is where you will give your project name and the version name then comes the important most important part which is the scripts right so here you are telling what are the scripts that i should run to invoke the schematics Right? If you look carefully, ng serve, ng build, these are all our CLI commands, right? And all these are defined in our angular.json. So if you see here under architect, you will see build, you'll see serve, you'll see test. And these are all the commands that get invoked when you are seeing here like npm run start, npm run build, it calls this, right? Let's me make some notes because we don't want to lose this information, right? So package.json has details like name of app, version of app, right? And then it will have scripts, right? These are nothing but when you want to run this scripts, you will run npm run followed by that particular script name, right? And what is the name of the script? Open your package, you'll see start. So if you say npm run start, it will internally call the uh, command which is ng serve, right? It will internally call ng serve. ng serve will internally refer it to angular.json and in inside the angular.json, you have the build schematic. It will then come and do all of this uh, details as configuration, right? So that is what happens when you run a command npm run start. It will come and execute ng serve and then ng serve will internally reference angular.json get all the configuration details variable details and then use these uh, angular.json details like 
assets, styles, config, main.ts, index, all of that and run your application, right? That is the important of scripts. Now, the question that is often asked in interviews is, can we add more scripts to package.json? The answer is yes, 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 right? So if I want to add, I will add new. I will say, let's say I want test coverage. So I will say I am building a new script. I will call it ng test coverage. And the command that should do is ng test hyphen hyphen code hyphen coverage, right? So you can pass this parameters, right? Uh, and so you can build your scripts, your own scripts, which will run in your pipeline, right? So these scripts are your starting point of learning, your starting point of learning if you are working on existing projects, right? If you are working on an existing project, obviously you don't know how to run the app. You don't know what dependencies. So go ahead, first check out package.json and you will know what command to run your application, what command to test, what command to lint, etc, etc. So this is your first thing that you should look when you're working on any existing projects. All right. So we learned that we can add custom scripts. And how do we run the scripts? Let me show you. So I showed you that we, we so far we have done something like ng serve, right? That is to run the application. But now we using the package.json commands, what we will do, we will use npm run start. So once you do this, it will still run ng serve. I'll show you that just now. See now, I'll enter and it will say ng serve here. You see? So it's internally calling ng serve. ng serve will go to angular.json and get those. Uh, configuration details and variable settings and then execute and compile, right? So that is what this scripts does in package.json. Let's move on now. Now, next thing is dependencies, right? What are dependencies and what is dev dependency, right? So now this is an interesting question that is often again asked in a lot of interviews. So what is dependencies? Okay, I got the spelling wrong. All right. Okay, so what is dependencies and what is dev dependency? Right. So dependencies means all the modules, libraries you must have to run in prod environment. Right. In production environment, you will need all these modules and libraries to run your application. That is what is listed in dependencies, right? In dev dependencies, as the name says, this is all you need to develop your application, right? Now, these are all the modules and libraries you need to develop, right? Now, there is a difference to develop, develop your app. Remember, dev de whenever you say dependencies, right? Uh, the prod, the production uh, code will mostly be optimized will be minimum right because you don't want to make it heavy right so it will always be less than what you see in dev dependency in dev dependency you are adding too many things but you are not sure if all of them are used right we may add packages or modules but we may not use them right so you don't see them in dev dependence. You will see them in you will see them in dev dependency, but not in dependencies, right? So that's the main difference between dependencies and dev dependency. Now that's what you would see here, and you will see the um, version number of it, right? So there is a major version, minor, right? And there is some minor patches that are available. So this is about dev, uh, dependencies and dev dependencies. Now let's talk about package iPhone lock dot JSON, right? So you have to understand them together, right? It's not independent. It is related. Now here also, if you see in the dependencies, right? You will see the same packages which are there in your package.json. 
like for example take this and angular animations and go to package lock and search for it so you would see the details of it right for example you would see that there is angular animations the version is 10.2 and it requires these details in package you only see the name of it but in package.lock you will see that it also internally requires some more modules right same thing happens with other libraries you can check out any other library like har validator right it requires internally some more modules but now if you go and see this right you would go copy this and come to a package right you don't see it because it's not in your dependencies or in your dev dependency but it's inside the requires right so internally they will have lot of dependencies so this file tells you all the things that are logged that are required to run your dev and the internal linking of requires of different libraries like angular dev kit architect will require core and rxjs and it also has a dependency here if you see it has a dependency on rxjs and then it has dependency on tslib so etc so it explains that's why sometimes it takes time when you do a uh, npm install right clear so that is all about package dot lock uh, package hyphen lock i hope it's clear i hope uh, now you will be able to better understand what a package and package lock means and importantly you will be able to answer any questions that are asked to you in interviews about package or package hyphen lock if you have if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to discuss and help you in the next episode we will be learning about angular cli tutorial and we will learn that in detail so make sure that you don't want to miss on that one please do subscribe to my channel also if you like my work and tutorials please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com/arctutorials thank you so much in advance i'll see you in the next episode